Hello and welcome to another episode of the Big Comfy Sessions. You may notice that we are no longer in the Treehouse Bookshop and that is because we are in the Big Comfy Bookshop in Coventry. This is my bookshop. Um, if you pan over there, which we're not going to, there isn't actually any books. So this is all for show. Um, but yeah, we're very excited. We're going to have loads and loads more um, in here. Uh, thank you very much to Victoria for housing us in the Treehouse Bookshop. Uh, we really appreciate that. But before, uh, if, if I keep rambling on about that, I'd like to introduce you all the way from Bristol really far we're in Coventry that's like that far she makes war hello hello, <laughs> hello. so yes so yeah Bristol's pretty pretty long way to come just for a comfy session I'm sure there's something else going on today for you is that right it's only two hours on the train um I came I'm, I'm putting on one, my independent music night in Coventry tonight at the tin and I'm also doing a kids show this afternoon also at the tin so I thought I'd pack it all into one day yeah how does a kids show work for a musician well, it's my first one, so I don't know. Right, don't know. <laughs> it's their thing. It's called My First Gig, so it's their thing that they put on. I think right. they've done one before. Okay. Um, my show is quite interactive anyway. I get people to sing along and I ask them questions and I get them yes. to have a bit of a conversation with me. So I'm just going to do more of that, really. Excellent. Get them to, I, think, I think the kids will sing along, along a little bit easier than the adults do. I think so, too, They're not too so as well. frightened of yeah. what people think of them. So. Well, I've got a two-year-old and he just runs around in circles yelling as well, so I awesome. expect quite a lot of that. Yeah, yes. I hope yeah. that. Well, I'll do that, too. Yeah. So. Well, good, good <laughs> yeah. luck with that. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, now you've got um, you you work. Are you working on a record or is it finished? No, I'm working on it at the moment. It's my third one. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you're you're going through pledge music to got yeah. got some great pledges on there. Thanks. So, yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm raising money for it for, to record it um, on pledge music. Yeah. So um, I did it with my second album as well, and it went really well. Um, it's so that I can you know, sort of spend a bit more time in the studio and I can pay some guest musicians to come and play with me so some really exciting Bristol based musicians I'm not going to spill who it is but uh, I am super excited it's like my teenage self is going who? what? Yes. <laughs> seriously? oh my god it's really exciting so that's what, it, that's what the money's sort of for yeah. and there's, yeah, there's a whole list of things you can pledge on like um, there's um, acoustic picnics there's uh, song lyric sheets and all different sorts of things there's going to be some new ones coming as well excellent I think what you do really well as well uh, after watching a lot of videos on YouTube it's, it is the interaction with the audience like you say and Thank obviously you. with the pledge music acoustic picnics yeah. you know that's, that's, <laughs> I think that's, that's absolutely fa- fascinating it's brilliant well, my favourite ones my favourite ones this time having done it before um, are the ones where I get to hang out with the people who like my music. So yeah. that's the whole point. So you can, you know, you could easily buy like I don't know. There's some artwork stuff you can buy as well. But if you want to come and hang out for a bit, then that's yeah. that's a bit more meaningful. Well, that's it? cool. That's yeah. excellent. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we've asked you to uh, have a wee look around the, the shop mm. and uh, pick a book that's kind of kind of taking your fancy. And mm. you you picked up. Uh... I picked up Isaac Asimov's The Stars Like Dust, which I picked picked up because when I was a little kid, I used to read Isaac Asimov. I don't really remember much about it. I don't know if I was skim reading really. I was a bit of a precocious child, let's yeah. say. Um, and I picked this up because um, it's got a brilliant first line, and so I'm really interested in like killer first lines for songs. I'm a bit obsessed by it. Um, I play bass for Vivalba team from the Slits, um, and I've sung with this woman called Karina Round, who's an amazing artist in the States. They are both the queen of the killer first line. They just they, they slay you with the first yeah. line. And then Isaac Asimov books tend to have brilliant first lines. So the first line of this is, The bedroom murmured to itself gently. I think that's a brilliant it's first because you're right you. in there into this into this action. Yeah. Uh, another favourite band of mine are called The Shins, and they they have the sort of melodies that are like that. I think so mm. you go, you come straight into the song on this kind of tense yes. high point, and it's like where am I? Ah. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> so I'm I'm really into that. That's why I picked it up. But I'm reading Hemingway at the moment as well. I'm reading A, um, a Movable Feast. Wow. Which is fantastic. Yeah. Do any do any of like the influences like Hemingway work their way into into your music at all? Yeah, I, I figured out now because this is my third record. So um, just before I finish like lyrics for things for, for for records, I tend to like read a load of stuff and then sort of borrow and adapt things to sort of put in as, as just a little bit. So yeah. I've definitely done that on both albums so far. There's some literary references which I don't really go on about because it's just like you know, they're just there because they're, they're for me. But yeah. I think people will pick up on them sometimes and sometimes they won't. There's definitely going to be a bit of Hemingway-ism. Excellent. <laughs> and maybe a bit of Asimov-isms. As well. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, uh, so you're going to play a new song. Is it going to be on the new record? Yes, yes, yes. So, this is the first one, no, second one that was finished for it. Right, OK. Yeah. So, what's it called? It's called The Best. Uh, what's it about, may I ask? Oh, well, um, when I wrote it, I told myself it was about, um, <clears throat> kind of written from the perspective of someone who broke up with me quite a long time ago, who um, is a bit of un- unrequited love mm. that I'm trying to let go of now, because like, uh, like, the song was supposed to be like a cathartic thing to let go of that person. But as it often and usually happens with my songs, about six months later I go, 
oh no, it's about that person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah. So actually, I don't think it's really from the other person's perspective. Right. I think it's from mine. Okay. That's all I'll say. But it's a, it's a breakup song. Right, okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for joining us on the Big Comfy thank Couch. Thank you. Uh, for the very first Big Comfy session in the Big Comfy Bookshop in Coventry, Fargo Village. It's really good here. It's very good. Um, yes, looking forward to hearing it. So Thanks. thank you very much. She makes what? Thank you.